Today we are shooting for Sony Infamous Second Son, which is a new title for Sony Computer Entertainment. The notion for this is to allow the user to use their mobile as a second screen device, and that will be the input device from which you can then deploy your powers and uh, blow up all these objects on screen. This is our billboard here, and our explosion is going to be happening on the right hand side. So we combine the steel structure which needs to be strong enough to take the explosion so we can do multiple shots, we screw it down to these washers and then have lots of soft materials, plastic, styrene that we can warp and twist and blow up with the heat of the explosion. These are temporary concrete barriers and the plan is for the hero to come along and blow holes in them. So I've marked on the back where the explosive will go and it will be uh, drilled out and a charge placed in there. So the depths we're going to use are specialist depths for miniature model making, uh, quite often used with squib bullet hits as well. They're D66s, micro depths and non-fragmenting depths. And so we can run them in and thread them into little holes that we put into the model. And whether it's one or two will, it, will affect whether we do get like a partial blowout or whether we obliterate it. Another effect is like a, when a directional spark, such as an electrical cable being sheared, uh, Z17 gives a really nice small spark. Step one is to blow a lot of stuff up. One of the main tenets of the game and the main tenets of the campaign is to enjoy your power. That's what Delson does in the game. So um, with Collective and Hothouse, we are <laughs> and hence the goggles and the earmuffs. And um, we're illustrating that people can enjoy the power by blowing stuff up, and um, really blowing stuff up. So today, once we've got all the assets, we're then gonna go and port that into a digital experience. It's an interactive uh, experience using uh, two devices, your desktop and your mobile. To create the synchronization, we're using uh, Node.js, and then uh, using JavaScript calls, we're able to communicate between the two devices and trigger activities depending on the actions you do on your mobile.